Good morning, how are you today? I'm just out on my little morning walk run. I managed to wake up at quarter past eight this morning, so that's quite good. Not as early as I'd like. I'd like to be sort of waking up at half past six. Back at home in England, I was waking up at like half six to come out for my walk in the morning. I think I'm just gonna probably stay in the complex and just do, I don't know why, I just can't be able to like, leave in the complex today. So I'm just gonna do a few laps walking around here, I think. It's Monday today and part of what we're doing here, as you may or may not know, if you have, if you do know this and you've seen this a million times, I apologise, but if you haven't seen the other vlogs, we are on a work away uh, project, which is staying with a mum and son, and part of that work away stuff is like the homeschooling aspect with the son. And that kind of only happens like on Monday to Friday, and obviously we only need been here over the weekend, so today is sort of the start of the homeschooling stuff. So not really sure how it's gonna work and what we're doing, but we shall wait and see. It is many, many hours later and I so should have brought my sunglasses out. It is very bright. I've just come out to walk the dogs all morning. We have been doing, we've kind of been discussing homeschooling and sort of what we're going to be doing whilst we've been here it is really interesting for me i have not sort of immersed myself as you probably know Stephen, i took Stephen out of school um last september for traveling and we've kind of the majority of the time has just been about travel i haven't actually done any sort of schooling or anything and uh, the people that we're staying with do do sort of actual what i would say is schooling like sit down for a couple of hours every day and whatever and learn about things and it's really fascinating and interesting for me to see that and how that works for them and what they do, how they approach it and stuff. Just sort of going forward in terms of what I envisage uh, to happen for Stephen and myself in the future. Obviously I sort of don't know what, what we're gonna end up doing, whether we're gonna try and settle somewhere, whether we're gonna go back home. I would like to not have to go back home because I really don't want to. Um, but I don't know, it's just really fascinating and interesting. We spent a couple of hours sort of going through what they've been doing we just spent a couple of hours just going through it all really and um and starting to sort of see what we're going to be looking at whilst whilst we're staying here it's good for steve as well like because the boy that we're staying with he's 11 so it's a similar age to steven and like it, i don't know it just might be quite good i think i envisage it to be quite a uh, quite a useful quite an interesting experience for us like i say I'm just out walking the dogs and then i think we'll head out for a little bit I'm not sure where we'll go but we'll go out somewhere. I was trying to find out how we can get the bus because getting the train is it's about a mile away to the train station, which is a little bit I don't mind walking, but Stephen has a bit of a thing. He doesn't particularly want to walk that far all the time, so I'm trying to see about getting the bus into somewhere. The bus stop is obviously just more local. Okay, we're all done. We've had a little bit of a snack, something to eat. I've just eaten the most delicious mango I've ever eaten in all my life. It was so, so nice. Where The plan is now, we're heading out. What time is it? Like four o'clock-ish? About four o'clock, we're going <clears> to <throat> head out to the bus stop. We want to figure out like the bus routes, like I was saying before. Figure out the bus routes. And so I haven't planned anywhere to go because I figured we'd just see where, like the nearest bus stop to us, find that, see what buses run on it. And so then we can sort of Google where they go and what the thing is. What's the plan? The plan is no particular plan. Okay, we're at the bus stop. We're kind of just figuring it out. I think that the change of plan is that we might just go back and go in the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might be old. What station that we would walk to? We would walk to from here? Yeah. The one... There's one there. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just zoom in. It's, oh, so it's... So it's just up there, I think. That's it. Is that it there? Yeah. yeah, so that would be there, yeah. I've found this app, it's quite... Um, no, not this app. What's it called? The other one that I was just saying? No idea. It's in travel. Next ride or something. Sorry. Yeah, next ride. I can't see that, but it's called... You just put this one, next ride. If you are coming to Singapore, this app, next ride, you just put in sort of where you are, where you want to be, and it'll tell you how to get there. What do you reckon? What? Right now. Pool. Oh. Red Bull car? <laughs> Let's go in the pool then. Is it good? We have to walk up some steps. Some floors. <laughs> I have been, um, whenever I've gone out without Stephen, 
I've been like, getting off at either floor 15 or floor 20. But we're on floor 28. And like walking up the stairs, but purely for my Fitbit. So I get like reach the floors on my Fitbit. Because <laughs> I had contemplated. You don't sort of realise how hard it is going up the stairs <laughs> until you actually try and do it. I contemplated sort of doing, instead of going for like a morning walk or one, doing like some stair climbs. It's obviously on the 28th floor. I've got a shitload of stairs and try and do that. But I was like, first time I did that, I got up at floor 20. And I was like, by the time I got to floor 28, I was like, oh my god, I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Maybe I'll just work up to it. By the time I leave here, I'm gonna be running up and down those stairs. <laughs> do you not think that'll happen? <laughs> the look of like, yeah, whatever, mum. That ain't happening. We can that, try. Yeah. I have to do that. Yeah, that is a little goal that I've set for myself. Okay, little goal. I can By run. the end of Singapore, you have to be able to run up eight run up. flights. Eight, eight flights. Oh, I can run up eight flights. I was thinking, I was talking about the whole of the 28. Oh, yeah, okay, we're going to see. I'm just thinking about the whole of the 28 floors. When I say run, I mean like it's a slow one. It's not like a charge up yeah. there. Do you think I can do it? My heart, I felt like my heart was going to like pound out of my chest the first time I did it. Right, we're going to go back up, collect our swimming stuff and head to the pool. We're changed. We've remembered what we should have done. Second stones, oh yeah. We should have gone to the shop when we went out to the bus stop then. Stephen needs some goggles and we keep meaning to like nip out to the shop and try and find some goggles. But we keep forgetting and then every time we come to the pool we're like, damn goggles nice and quiet again whoa that was cool this thing is cool water bouncer water bouncer like a skimming thing it really does skim I, not that I can throw it because I can't throw it and skim at all it doesn't work for me and rubbish it bounces like once for everyone else it bounces about 800 times we're now leaving the pool we've been there for quite a while we've been in the pool for a while and then we just kind of just sat out just chilling out there for a little bit. It was nice. I'm gonna head back up now. It is seven o'clock. I might go for a little walk later on, maybe. I don't know, I've got so much work to do, with, like the gaming channel and stuff. I feel like I'm just really behind with everything, so I'm not sure yet, but we're going up for now. I've just come back out again. We've been back at home for quite a few hours. I've just been chatting to our host and stuff. I've kind of, I've got so much work to do. It's a hard thing to kind of, kind of fit in all the things that you need to do, obviously with the, the gaming channel, the vlogging channel, um, and then obviously doing the volunteering work and getting to know the people we're staying with as well. Everything sort of, there just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day, to be quite honest, at the moment. But that's okay, we could all get done eventually. I set myself all these kind of goals of things that I want to be doing every day, and realistically, I think I may have to, I don't know, maybe, we'll just see. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens, but there's kind of a lot a lot a lot to do each day in terms of what i want to be achieving and as well like I've, even just like fitness goals and things like i want to be getting out being more active in terms of walking or running or whatever and that obviously takes up a lot of time of the day and i don't want to sacrifice that for the sake of like editing a vlog or something, but then i also don't want to sacrifice editing a vlog for exercise and stuff so i don't know it's about like organizing my priorities and things at the moment i think i'll definitely kind of just figure that out as i go along like right now, I think it's just important to do whatever, like there was no point right now in me trying to edit a vlog, like I've got a vlog that I need to edit and loads of gaming channel videos, there's no point in trying to concentrate on doing that because I know that I want to come out and like have a bit of a walk, maybe do a little bit of running and so I need to just, just focus on the one thing that like is most important to me at that time Woo. get that kind of achieved and then move on to the next, what time is it? It's like nine o'clock so I'm going to stay out for maybe another 20 minutes, go back, try and get at least two edits done. It's the vlog, the vlogs, the vlog that I've got to do. It's a long, um, 
but yeah i'm gonna probably just end it here because i'm just gonna have this walk and like i say go back and edit and go to bed i will see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching today if you are a homeschooler or unschooler or world schooler or whatever you classify yourself as or you know anybody that is or you know anything about it if you have any resources or any information that you could share with me that would be really fantastic down in the comments i would love that but yeah for today i'm gonna end it so thank you so much for watching the breeze seems to have disappeared and all of a sudden i'm like boiling boiling hot yeah but thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow good night Those 28 flights. Whew, knackered.